Hey everybody, this is Dave at Snake River Fly. Today we are going to tie up a, a modified Clouser minnow, uh, quick and effective pattern for the Snake River and other big water environments where Clousers typically work. Um, go through the materials real quick. Uh, the body material is Snake River Fly crinkles on, and it comes in a variety of colors that you can match to your fly. And then we're using some white marabou on the top portion. We have some cactus chenille up on wrapped around the eyeballs, and then we have some lead eyes with double pupils, double painted pupils. So pretty, pretty basic fly here. Uh, the hook that I'm going to use is a heavy duty streamer hook, 3x heavy. This one's actually two extra long. It's a must add, uh, 3906B, and a size four. Drop a hook in here. Okay, the thread I'm going to use is white 210, and you can adjust the thread color to your fly colors. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Um, I'm going to put down a layer of thread just where we're going to apply the, the Clouser eyeballs or the lead eyes. I find that it ties on uh, a little bit better if I use a little more thread rather than a single layer. So a couple layer thread base there. Provides a little bit of thickness and a good spot to seat that dumbbell eye. The dumbbells, these are a size large. Chartreuse, white and black. And we're going to tie that onto the top of the hook, uh, which the, the hook will flip over when it swims. And like most clousers, you don't want to put these dumbbells right up on the eye itself. You want to slide them back far enough that they balance out the fly and give it a good swimming profile. And I'll tie those on there, get them started. And then do some figure eights underneath the eyes. And then I'll come back and do four or five wraps in each direction into the eyeballs, build up a little thread in front, a little thread behind, and then go right back into that kind of figure eight wrap underneath the eyes. A few more wraps there and you can see that I've started to build up a pretty good amount of thread. Drop in some cement that will penetrate and hold that pretty well in place on the hook. If they're not tied on well, you will get some twist and movement. It takes a little bit of practice with dumbbell eyes to really get them secured tight. And once again, Clouser has probably the best way to tie them on. Okay, so we've got the eyeball secured here. Um, beyond that, the, the fly goes really quickly. We're going to tie in some crinkles on. This color is pearl. I'm going to do that on the top of the hook behind the eyeballs. Just going to clump tie it in there right behind the eyes. A few solid wraps. And then I'm going to pull down all those excess fibers, wick them back, and that will give our fly a nice pearl, flashy belly. Just like that. If they're a little bit longer than I'm going to want, I'll trim some of that off. All right. The next step on this one, I'll reverse the hook. And we're going to tie in the marabou. Uh, you can, I'm going to use white on this one. You can use either one or two pieces. I prefer two in this case. It's a little bit fuller, which is a little, little different from most clouser minnows, which have bucktail, a, a stiffer fiber, and it has less volume. I find that the marabou provides a little more volume to the fly, something that the smallmouth bass really like, uh, just a little larger profile. Okay, And I'm going to attach the marabou right on top here, behind the eyeballs, with a couple wraps, and they will actually pull that marabou forward and tie it towards the eye, just to secure a little bigger piece of marabou there. 
trim out the excess right up to the eye. And you can take your marabou and actually pull it back, kind of get it out of the way, pull it back along that crinkles on, secure the rest of the marabou tips there, put down a nice thread base, and then wrap back behind the eyeballs once again. The last piece we're going to apply is the cactus chenille. This is chartreuse in color. Uh, Estaz works pretty good too. I like pearl Estaz as an alternative color on just a pearl colored minnow. But I want to attach that just behind the eyes and then take my thread to the front behind the eye to await the tie off. Okay, um, I've got my Estaz or cactus chenille, I'm gonna do a wrap behind the eyes, and then I'm gonna kind of figure eight through the eyeballs just to get coverage. Above and below the eyeballs. And then I'll bring that cactus chenille to the front couple more wraps there where I'm going to tie it off. Snip out the excess. Go ahead and do a whip finish. Apply a little bit of head cement on that. And then I like to trim up some of the excess fibers that might be covering my eyeballs, just so that the eyeball stands out a little more. If you have a lot of volume out here, you can trim a taper into it as well. And that's basically it. The Marabou Clouser works great in faster moving water um, on predator on predator fish like smallmouth, trout, and so on. But just a quick, easy tie. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, you can find it at Snake River Flies website or on YouTube. Thank you.